Let's do this thing. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week we're in Fernandina Beach, Florida, right on Amelia Island for the Eight Flags Car Show. This is a gorgeous place, and what a spot for a car show. There's cars all up and down Center Street, and I mean, there's some pretty stuff here in a beautiful Florida setting. Let's get around and check out some of these Florida cruisers. Oh, hey, camel. Dave, how you doing, man? Good, sir. This is a cool place, yes. Fernandina Beach. It is, what a great place for a show. It is, it's unique. People love coming here. Uh, the show is growing bigger every year. How long have you been doing it? 20 years. 20. And this is the <laughs> first time it's rained in 20 years. Well, we, so we had a little cloud burst, but it was, yeah. you know, it's been beautiful all day. It, it has. Just, you know, it, it settled the dust. So, I mean, this is a historic town. It is. This goes back a long ways? Oh, yes, in the 1700s. Actually, the oldest city is uh, St. Augustine, Augustine right. you know, just down right, the right. coast a little bit. And as settlers uh, moved north and spread out along the fishing shores and stuff. This is truly a destination. You're here on Amelia Island, everybody thinks of it because of the Concord, which is a magnificent right. show. But you guys do this really cool, I mean, the vibe here is awesome. Well, that's what we try to keep everybody happy. We try to provide something for everybody. And the sites around here, there's a lighthouse there by Fort Clinch. The entrance to the ocean is right off Fort Clinch. And you can drive on the beach. Uh, if you go further down the coastline towards uh, some of the hotels, you can have beach access and you can drive on the beach. Let's see if we can hot wire one of these cars and take it down to the beach. What do you say? The four wheel drive. Yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> Mike, man, this is a pretty car. This is a 61 Pontiac Bonneville two-door hardtop bubble top. Bubble right? top. They couldn't have made many of these at all. I don't know how many they made, but there are very few of them left. I'll I say. Oh, yeah. it's just, just beautiful. And I love the kind of turquoise teal color. Right. It's got such a Pontiac front end. I had never noticed these. Yeah, these little, on the 61. Uh, uh, you know, fender mm, trim. It looks ornament. like they. You know, it just, it calls out for little lights there, doesn't it? Right, you would think there'd be a directional light in there. <laughs> you would, you would. Boy, look how this A-pillar comes uh -huh. around. Is that but, beautiful? Yeah. And look at this interior, man. It's a Pontiac, it came with a grab bar. Oh yeah, they all had <laughs> grab bars on it. Because they were pretty darn strong. And if you notice, it's got factory air outlets in it. The factory air is still on the car. No kidding. Yeah. And the way that- it's pretty uh, rare, I would yeah, think. Yeah, the way the 61. dash dishes in there, it's just right. so yeah. cool. And a lot, I mean, just a lot of cool controls, push buttons and right. beautiful steering wheel and such a sharp, crisp. Point, and then they kind of turn in a little on yeah. top to where yeah, yeah, exactly. it makes it look not so wide. Yeah, it does kind of come in. And then you've got 61. These taillights, the setup is so different than the 60s, where they're yes, up here yes. and they're kind yeah, of thrusters. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and it's pretty That's, wild script here, too. I mean, it's yes. gold anodized and kind of, right, right. you know, kind of spacey, futuristic. Right. Let's go up and see what you got under the hood. All right. Under the hood should be the original 389 engine know. it came with. Yeah. Factory air. Yeah. Still got the old generator on it, Jetty. In 61, <laughs> they were still running a generator? Yeah. Is that right? Yes, wow. Yeah. That's a Pontiac block color. Oh, yeah. Which is almost yeah. the color of the car. The car. Yeah. That is amazing. I like your really? overflow there. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh... I haven't had time to change that <laughs> out yet, but I will. Hey, this is something that I bet. This is a head knocker, right? Yeah, it is. You, you start is working it? under here. Everybody's if got you their, forget uh, about this thing, their you will, Pontiac you'll scar. Get it from yeah. here. <laughs> you'll know it. <laughs> it's yeah. just gorgeous. Close well, it up, man. This is a stunning car. Thank you. Wow, and that is one big hood. Big head and it shuts perfectly. It, it sure does. Thank, thank goodness, because it'd make a mess otherwise. Uh, so she's a 61 Pontiac Bonneville two-door hardtop bubble top. Bubble top. About as pretty as it gets. Thank you. Thank you for bringing it out, man. Thank That's you. A nice car, buddy. Yep, yep. Thank you. Gary, this is, this is totally wild. This is only the second one of these I have ever seen. This is a, the real deal. This is a Volkswagen, basically, German mail truck, postal truck. It was manufactured as a Type 147. Right, Kleiner that was it. Wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type 147. That's that's the real name. Nicknamed Fertilin. And Fertilin is a connotation for funny-looking little boy. <laughs> well, it is a funny-looking little Volkswagen. That's correct. Obviously, you've, you've dropped it and all that. But this, otherwise, she's pretty much an unmodified body. Yes. Pretty much stock. The side windows are custom. Other than that, it's a pretty stock body. 
What's the color, man? That's... The color is 2015 Lamborghini orange metallic over a white ground coat. And you actually have kind of a counter color here too, don't you? I didn't notice that. The it is. These are, these are single stage colors, uh, a mocha and an off-white that we mixed. Uh, it's all Sickens paint. You got some serious brakes on this thing. It's all Willwood caliper, full air ride system from Air Cooled and Phoenix. What are your uh, wheels? I like Billet those. Specialties. Nice. Um, SLC 75s. 18s on the back, 17s on the front. Now these are actually sliding doors, right? Sliding doors. Uh, they made these sliding doors along with the right hand drive because the mail truck, they the latch, they latch open and they latch close. Yeah. And that way the mail guy can pull right up to the mailbox and pull the door open and throw the mail in the back. That's actually the original dash, isn't it? factory steel dash. It only came with a speedometer head in it. Yeah, I got a few more gauges now. A few more gauges uh, <laughs> for the air ride over here. Uh -huh. Push button start. The speedometer is a GPS speedometer. Oh, man. And then the monster tack and then the gauges for the oil. We manufactured the seat pedestal first. We bought a set of seats from yeah. STAT. We manufactured that seat pedestal to put the snap-on toolbox drawers in. These are drawers? Those drawers pull out. Oh, man. And they're on, uh, they're on the they're rails on, and everything? That's the, nice. The original snap-on rails. We put a four inch drawer here for odds and ends and two twin two inch drawers on the other side for tools. <laughs> so do you still are you still powered by VW? Still Volkswagen motor. Let's um, go look at it, man. Okay. This is cut out of a, an engine inspection system, cut out of a 79 bus and grafted in so we can work on these big block motors a little bit easier on the carburetors and such. Six inch velocity stacks on the 44 Weber carburetors. Oh my gosh. Does the bottom still open up? The you bottom get still to... opens up with normal Volkswagen. Uh, I mean, that's a V-Dub engine, but that looks like that's been massaged a bit. It has. It's a stock 1600 block. It's opened up to a 2332 wow. cc's. It has a Hunt Magneto on it and the Porsche fan cooling system. What does it put out? It puts out about 121, 127 horsepower to the rear wheels. It's classified as 140 horse, 2332. Uh, so it will move down the road pretty So, good. I mean, do you, do you actually drive this or is it totally a, a show toy? Most of it is just show. I'll drive yeah. it to the shows. Uh, we trailer it different places. Well, I guess I've only seen one other in my life, 1972 Fridolin. That's correct, 1972 Fridolin. So cool, Gary. Thank so you. Cool. Nice I talking love it. with you. Mike, this is a, this is a one mean machine here. It's quite a sweet <laughs> ride, but you know, I, we, I usually talk about a car and I get around to the engine at the end. But how, how, how do you miss this? It's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to miss the it's, elephant in the it, room. It, 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 and it is an elephant. It is. It is. <laughs> what? I've never seen this. What is this engine? John Cozzi, Winder, Georgia, builds Ford engines. And he's okay. probably, you know, I, I am prejudiced, he's probably the best Ford builder I've ever met in my life. They're his heads. They start on a 460 Ford block. He does a lot of machining to adapt the heads to his intake. He's got eight stack injection that most of them use, but I wanted old school carburetors, so we did the uh, old school manifold. Is that the manifold he supplies with it too? Because that's a manifold came with it. That is really nice. We I had mean, to move the firewall back two inches and the radiator ahead one inch uh -huh. just so we could get the engine in. There's never enough there's, there's no horsepower to replacement have fun. for cubic hey, displacement, especially, right? <laughs> especially when you want to act up. I mean, it, this is really, is she a steel body? Steel it is, car? all steel. What's the frame? It's a box 32. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think I've ever seen this. That was hand built by the guy that helped build the car. Is it steel? It is steel. H hand hammered? hammered. You're hammered. kidding yes. me. Interesting color too. It's I can't quite pinpoint it. What is it? It's a, a color that we mixed up. Oh, it's just like the sun that looks and good. Just, yeah, we like it. You know, we don't <laughs> put more of this, more of that. Well, I heard you fired this thing up, and I mean, it you know it shakes the earth. But then she tames back down. I mean, it this does. is something you can actually drive. Oh yeah, I've, I've, it's got 36, 37,000 miles on the car. The only trailer I this own car. is that one. And this interior is gorgeous. Thank you. Where'd the seats come from? Wise guys. Wise seats. guys. Yes. Man, and who did the interior? The guy that did the uh, brace for the radiator, he hand built the uh, gauge panel. So that, that bezel is uh, hand, handmade too? It's all handmade, Man, every Stuart bit of Stuart Warner gauges? Mm-hmm. Old school. Cool again, you got oh, cool. uh, American Racing Torque Thrust. Yep. Big classic, tires. Classic, man. Big tires. How about these? Is that something? I mean, that wasn't stock. 32 Ford. Really? I mean, this gooseneck? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. So where's your, is that, is, is that is your gas tank? That is the gas tank. Now she sits pretty low. Is this the ride height? That's the ride height. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So you gotta watch the speed bumps on this. Ah, well, yeah. or either hit them fast enough to jump them. <laughs> 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 but I tell you, I mean, she's beautiful overall, but when I was tooling down Center Street here, I saw that engine and I went, what is that? <laughs> and she's just sounds Thank awesome, you. man. Thank you. Beautiful Thank car, you man. Much. That's a sweet engine. Thank you. John, this is a rare one. 
This is a 73 Herstals, right? Yes, sir. These were really something. Where where did you find this? In the Auto Trader magazine back in the 80s. Because, <laughs> you know, actually, <laughs> it's where I saw it. people didn't care that much back then. Yeah. So did you have to restore it? Around 95 to 98, completed in 98. I basically pulled panels off, stripped them down, and repainted and restriped it. But interiors are original. Gosh. So if they're really a cutlass, right? Yeah. So what makes it the Hearst package? They added the hood scoop there. They right. put the stripes on it. Is that fiberglass? It's like a plastic, okay. I think. Wow. A special Hearst hood ornament, that, which that was 73 to 75. Uh-huh. But only the Hearst, right? Yes. Because I saw that and I went, is that right? But it, but yeah. it is. It's... Hearst made one that they put a Hearst emblem in there too, which I do have one in yeah, my Of course box. you have one. You have everything else. Yeah. Basically. So got... what, what else went into the conversion? The, the stripes, the little scoops? The padded top was the, the big padded thing. Top, yeah. they, they put a blank off inside and outside. So it was really, uh, this little window was in, in the regular ones was a whole big window. Yeah, which, it's still oh, got the original big window in there. And you can see it if you look in there. Yes. This is the craziest thing. This car had the swiveling bucket seats. Do they both swivel? Yes, they both swivel. And, and that's the steering wheel that came with it? In 73, the sport steering wheel was optional. I don't think I've ever seen one. Pretty slick looking. Yeah. And for the era, that's a really small wheel, Di small diameter wheel, you know, yeah. more of a race inspired. And then the other thing about, what else came with the package? Uh, how about, what kind of shifter does it have? Her shifter. Her shifter, of course. A, a dual gate. <laughs> like, <Her> duh. Dual <laughs> gate. I th always thought the rear end of this car is just beautiful. I mean, those, those tail lights. Yeah. The old their rocket. tailpipes are the Hearst only option too. These you've restored all this. Yes, Can you that, still get this? You know these applications. They do make reproductions now. Wow. There's a couple companies, and some are accurate, some are a little bit off. But and these of course, are, let's see what's under the hood because that was really the big show here. 455 rocket 455 yep. that is one strong engine there was another package too though cars without ac had different heads on them they had ka heads with yeah. the high performance heads mm -hmm. they put on so it what was this package called w45 w45 was, was okay. the first package in 73 but that and this is the original engine and everything yes it is and it's never been out it's just been no kidding detailed. Never oh, been man, out of the car. Just... is that the right block color for it yeah, apparently so. yes it's the metallic blue this is just Beautiful. So 1973 Hersolds, man, that's a slick car. Riding in style. Well, Randy, it's 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 no secret I'm a fan of Studies. Yes. <laughs> I do I do love Studies. And I gotta tell you, probably my favorite Studie is the, the 53, what they call the Lowy Coupe. Right. This is beautiful. Thank you've you. done some really neat work. Uh, and you've and you've left some stuff alone. Yeah. I mean, what a cool combo. Really, you haven't done hardly anything to the body. What what mods have you done? Uh, just shave some things off, move the bumpers in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they, they look like they sucked yeah. in a little bit. The Studebaker had such a fantastic body line. Anyway, I didn't want to take <laughs> away from that too much. So you're right. Well, you know, this is this is considered one of the the best by car designers. This yes. is considered one of the best automotive designs of all time. That's right. Did you powder coat the bumpers? Yes, the yeah, bumpers are nice. powder coated, and then you got kind of a satin, pale yellow. Oh, is it? Okay. Sat, satin paint. Well, I think it shows off the lines really well. Now, interior-wise, it looks to me like you left the stock frames and everything. Seat I did. Frames. I love the Studebaker dash and the seats and all so well. I uh, kept the same pattern on the upholstery and, and left the same frames. They were in great shape. Gosh. And just didn't want to take away from the original design of Studebaker. So Those look like Impala hoods. Of they the do. Days, and I, was, that, was that a... Were those stock? They were stock. I, they didn't, were stock. And I was really impressed that. with those, too. It kind of reminded me of a... 57 Chevy, or yeah. I really love the dash in these things. I didn't change a thing on the dash. And that is how the armrest was in back. Correct, yes it, it is. It didn't fold up. It's a four passenger or a little kid sitting on the armrest. That's right. Five passenger car. That's right. Oh, jeez, Randy, this is beautiful. You debadged it. Yes, sir. And it looks like you sucked the bumper in here too. Correct. But stock tail lights? Stock tail lights, yep. Well, like I say, 259 originally, but I heard this and then the 259. No, no. not a 259. Not Let's go see what it is. Okay. Yeah, um, that is not a 259 Studi. No, sir, that's a, not a 259 <laughs> Studi. That's a 461 cubic inch, 454 big block Chevrolet. How did you stuff it in there? That's a good question. I, halfway through the process, I was asking myself the same question. And <laughs> thought I'd got myself in a bind, but I couldn't stop at the time, so uh -huh. I had to keep on going. Looks like you got a few knuckles there in the steering uh, Oh yeah, shaft, yeah, but, you know, it, but you it's, bend around. it does, but Borgson makes a great product and it works real well and don't have any binds or kinks or kicks or anything. Steers great. Is she on air? Air ride right, suspension and uh, rides real well. Oh man, have you been to this show before? I have. 
It's great. What a place for a show. Yes, it's it awesome. is. You couldn't get any better than this. This, to me, is a perfect place for a car show. And the kind of people that come here, it's just a, it's just a great time. It's, it is really, it's real chill. Yes. And you have one, you have just about, in my book, the perfect car for it. Randy. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank Studebaker, you. Commander, Starlight Coupe. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, man. The Eight Flag Show here in Fernandina Beach, Florida, is an absolute blast. Amelia Island is gorgeous. Vacation destination. Check this one out.